And how you set it up, we, we have a really great support article um, that we'll share, Emma or someone will share it in the chat for you. And, and uh, we'll certainly, um, um, you know, if you, want to, if you want any more information about how to set up a Google My Business listing for yourself, this article will help you. But you can always get in touch with us at support at ratemyagent.com.au. That's support at ratemyagent.com.au. We'll send an email out tomorrow so you've got all this information. And we do have a special offer if you do want to, to upgrade to the, the, our Google My Business product that I'm going to show you um, is covered under our pro subscription. Um, so if you do, we do have a special offer where if you pay for 12 months up front, we'll be giving you a 20% discount. So uh, I shouldn't be selling, I should be showing you how it works. But that, that's just the, Steve, I've done the, I've done the plug for you. Um, so let's let's get into it and let, let's show you uh, what we what we've done within um, within rate my agent um, the, the very first step for everyone is to set up that Google my business listing it's free it's easy uh, I've got a couple of questions here I think chat here we go I can see all right Steve just told me to love my work because I've done a plug there you go um, so what you'll notice when you log into your profile, you'll have a, sec a new section, as you can see new, called linked accounts. And this is where you'll be able to link your Google My Business page. Um, I'm in an agent's profile here. If I click on settings, you see that Jamie's linked in, he's uh, connected his, his own Google My Business page. Um, if that was not active, it would just say connect, really easy, connect the Google uh, My Business page. You need to log into Google, your Google accounts, um, and away you go. So, so it's, it's really, really easy. And there's two things that we really, we're really going to be looking at here. The first one I'm going to go through is the Google reviews. So like I said before, we think Google reviews are really, really important. But one of the limitations with Google reviews is the efficiency of collecting a Google review is, is nowhere near as efficient as collecting a Rate My Agent review. So to give you an idea, our, our numbers show that if you request a review via the Rate My Agent platform, around about 55 to 60% of the time, your customer will actually post that review and you'll capture that review into our system. If you request a review directly to Google, the, the numbers tell us that they'll only post it around about 10% of the time, 10 to 15% of the time. Um, and the reason for that is with Rate My Agent, you don't need um, an account, you don't need to set up a profile, you don't need to, to do any of those sorts of things to leave a review on Rate My Agent. I think as everyone knows, you send the review request, your customer clicks a link, they type in the review, they push submit and it's done. 50% of our reviews come via mobile devices, we have a very high strike rate. With Google, to leave a review, you need some sort of Google account, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Gmail, some sort of Google account to, to leave a review there. Um, and that's a barrier to entry for a lot of people. Um, it, that, that barrier means that um, I think in Australia, that only about 30% um, of people have a Gmail account in Australia. Don't quote me on that, but, it, but it's, not, it's not a huge amount. Um, so review conversion is really, really important. Capturing the review and then we syndicate. So capture 60, 55 to 60% of reviews first, and then we can syndicate them into Google. So I'm gonna just quickly show you how that works in Google reviews. And I'm also gonna show you here that a lot of people don't really know about, about Google posts. We can get 100%, 100% of your Rate My Agent reviews into this Google post section. Um, um, and, and it just goes through our social media manager. You hook up your, your Gmail, you, you Google My Business account, and it posts automatically in there. Um, so they're the two things I really wanna show you today. So let's go into it. Let me just get rid of this screen here and let me show you how, oops, get rid of that. Got a whole lot of our guys at the beach. Um, get rid of that uh, and come here. So what I've got here is the process. So Jamie's requested a review and this is the email as everyone knows, it goes out to, it goes out to his customer. Um, they click on that link and they type in the review. And this is the review that, that, um, that's been typed in. Um, and once they submit the review, the customer will see this pop up. So when you're a pro subscriber on Rate My Agent, it sits under our pro subscription, um, 
this Google review prompt will pop up. It also pops up for Facebook as well, but I'm just showing you Google at this stage. Um, and all the customer needs to do is to click Google review and it takes them to this page. One click, they see the review that they've got, they click copy your review, and then they click take me to Google. Uh, let me get rid of this thing here. Then they click take me to Google and it instantly opens up your Google My Business review page. So all they need to do is click on the stars. They've already copied the review, so they don't need to write it out again. There it is, the review's uh, done. This is the, the huge benefit of this, that the agent doesn't need to write the review again. They've already written it at Rate My Agent, and within three clicks, we can get it across into, the, into, into Google. And then if I click post there, I go into Jamie's profile here, and there you see the reviews being posted into Google My Business. So it's as simple as that. It, it's using that existing process and it's getting those reviews syndicated across into Google reviews. Now, if the customer doesn't have a Google account like that or some sort of Google account, um, they may well need to set up that account. So we can't guarantee 100% of those reviews will go across into Google reviews because the same limitation that Google has because you need some sort of Google account we can't get around that, nobody can get around that. But we find that because we're making it so easy for the customer, they've already written the review, they don't have to rewrite it, they just need, if they don't have a Gmail, some sort of a Google account, they need to set one up. But we're finding now that, that even our response rate, getting our reviews across into Google is, is better than Google's itself. It's, it's sitting somewhere around 20%. It's, it's, we'd love to get it higher, um, but we, we still have that limitation. So getting those reviews into Google, I'm gonna come back um, over to here now. Um, and you can see here from, from Jamie's point of view, if I click on his Google reviews, you can see this first review here says local knowledge expert. If I go into his profile, you can see here local knowledge expert. So his most recent review originated in Rate My Agent. This other one here says, our great experience with Jamie. If I come back to his profile, our great experience with Jamie. So his, his second review has come via Rate My Agent. And if you see this one here, Jamie is genuine. And I come over here, Jamie is genuine. So since he set up his Google My Business uh, profile, which we only launched a week ago, um, his last three reviews have been syndicated into his Google My Business profile. He hasn't he hasn't had to ask, send out a second review request. He hasn't had to bother his, 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 his client by making them do multiple things. It's automatically syndicated across into Google reviews. So when anyone searches for, uh, does, a, does a search for Jamie, um, I've just written in Jamie Hill and his broker, his agency here, you see his Google My Business listing comes up and we've already populated his profile with, with reviews. So it's already working for Jamie as it should. There's one other thing to show you with the reviews though, and that's here, you'll notice that when you, I'm back into Jamie's dashboard, when I click on reviews here, you'll see that we've got a new review tab here. So we are, not only are we syndicating the reviews across into Google, but we're also importing them back into Jamie's profile and you can see here, these are all the reviews that Jamie's received. Um, he can reply to the reviews via Rate My Agent, so he doesn't need to log into Google My Business as well to write a reply. He can actually re reply. He can see the reviews being posted coming in. He's replied to all of them so far, but if he hasn't replied to them, he can. it'll say not replied and it'll have a reply button there. He, he can reply, he can delete the reply, he can edit the reply. So what he can do here is, it's 100% of his management of Google reviews has been handled by his Rate My Agent dashboard. Um, it's so bloody, it's bloody awesome to tell you the truth. Um, so he's not having to log into multiple, multiple platforms. He can manage his Rate My Agent profile, uh, sorry, his Google reviews completely from his Rate My Agent profile. Into the future, and we, you know, we haven't built this out yet, but into the future, these reviews, um, if they, if they um, will be able to come back into, it. so if he's already got other Google reviews that didn't originate from Rate My Agent, he'll be able to make them appear on his Rate My Agent profile as well, and will completely close the loop. 
um, uh, around Google reviews. So as I said, we think Google reviews are really, really important. We think Google My Business is really, really important, but we also think it's really important to not make your customers pulse, post the same thing multiple times onto multiple review platforms. And that's really what review syndication is all about. Um, just making sure we don't have uh, any questions here. Is this beneficial for smaller agencies? Won't the bigger agencies with more reviews always be highlighted and, and more prominent? Um, this is, I think, unfortunately, that's just the case across the board. I mean, bigger agencies that list more properties um, will be more prominent, prominent everywhere because they just list more properties. So um, I don't think that, um, you know, for that question about isn't this, is. I still think it's beneficial for, for, for small agencies, for, for boutique agencies, um, because what you're really harnessing here is what we call the organic traffic, the organic search. Um, so it's when someone comes into Google and they type in your agency's name or they type in your name as an agent, we're really controlling what they find here. So Google My Business um, is, is a response to what they see when they search for those key terms, whether it's your agency name, whether it's your own agent name, with your individual name, it's what they see here. So it's really making sure that you can populate this with as much information as possible. So I hope that answers your question. Um, it's absolutely beneficial for smaller agencies, small uh, agents who don't do as much business or bigger agencies. It's really about taking control. Here's a stat that, that not many people know. It doesn't matter what any group says. Um, you know, whether it's rate my agent or realestate.com or domain or whoever it is, um, more than half of all traffic across the web originates from Google. So I'll say that again, more than half of all traffic across the web originates from Google, from organic search. So you need to understand, everyone needs to understand that, um, I'm just looking at questions as, as, as I'm talking. Everyone needs to understand that you must control and, and take control of your organic traffic. And this is your organic traffic, taking control of what people see when they search for you. 50% of all traffic originates from Google. If you're not controlling what they see here, you are missing out on what 50% of your traffic sees. Um, Manuel's asked here, can we transfer our existing reviews from Rate My Agent into Google My Business? So Manuel, it's only new reviews that have been syndicated across at the moment but we are actually working on a system. The guys have done a hell of a lot of work on this. And this is where we say we're always evolving this, where you'll be able to send a review prompt back to people that have already wrote, written a review for you on Rate My Agent, prompting them to go through that process. So it's not there as it stands today, but it absolutely is on our roadmap and we're not far away from releasing that. So um, yeah, cool. Um, so now let's talk about another area of Google My Business. And that's this section here in Google Posts. Many people know about Google Posts, but if they search your name, you want to make sure that again, you've got as much information about you as possible and your reviews. Everyone knows the stat that Rate My Agent rolls out. You know, people might get sick of it, but the fact is 97% of consumers are now looking for reviews. You've got to make sure they can find your reviews everywhere they look. And Google Posts is really, really important. Um, so we can syndicate 100% of reviews into Google Posts. So let me just quickly show you how that works. As I said here, um, Jamie's got already got his Google My Business listing connected. So when he goes into Social Media Manager and he looks at his schedule, he'll now see that um, um, his Google My Business is active. So within the for, for people who haven't used our our, our Social Media Manager before, uh, support at ratemyagent.com. Um, we can um, we can certainly help you with this, but. It's really, really simple. Google My Business is connected. So Jamie has set this, uh, I think this is a really nice frequency. He wants to post a new review into Google My Business, 7 a.m. every Monday. He can change that. He can change it to every day. I, I think that's too much personally. I think that I think that it should be weekly, but, but that, that's a personal choice. He chooses to post it at 7 a.m. Monday. He can change that to, to whatever day he wants. And once that's set up, it's done. It's set and forget. So then every Monday at seven o'clock, uh, let me go in here. So you can see two days ago, which was Monday at 7 a.m., he posted that review into Google. Um, if I click on that there, 
you can see um, you can see the the review and if I click on learn more it takes him straight into that full review in in rate by agent um, so he's now exposing that review into another area he's not only syndicating reviews into Google into Google reviews he's also syndicating into Google posts as you, as most people will know you can syndicate into Facebook through rate my agent into LinkedIn into Twitter onto your own website via our API into in, into a whole range of areas um, so it's it's just a part of that 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 process um, I've got a question there I'll get to that in a second so we're not we're not making you do more work we're using the existing work your existing systems if you're requesting reviews at rate my agent that's all you need to do once you set this up it's just done it will syndicate into google reviews we'll try and get as many into google reviews as possible we can't guarantee 100 percent, but we'll use our best endeavors to get as many across there as possible we'll beat google anyway because they've already written the review but we'll get all the reviews into those Google posts as well. We'll syndicate them into Facebook for you. We'll syndicate them into LinkedIn for you. We'll get them all over the place. As you go, I'm pretty excited about this because it's pretty bloody cool. Um, 